Hello with everyone there in YouTube land. It's me, John, again with another review for you. Today I'm doing a review of something special that I got from Japan. And this is a collaboration between two companies. One you'll be familiar with from the States. Another one you might not be too familiar with. Um, the first one is Pringles. Pringles is in Japan. Pringles is in the United States. And uh, the other one is a brand called Ace Cook. Now Ace Cook, um, you may have heard of them. If you eat a lot of noodles, you may not have heard of them if you don't. But they are a brand like Maruchan or Samyang from Korea. They make ramen noodles and also they make yakisoba noodles. And this is actually a bowl of yakisoba um, that I have purchased from them online. So the collaboration goes like this. They have noodles that are flavored to taste like Pringles and they have Pringles that are flavored to taste like uh, the yakisobas or ramen noodles that they have made. Now the two that I'm going to start uh, for you today, the noodles is a, the Pringles flavor here is sour cream and onion. You can see a little picture there, it looks like some sour cream and onion. That's a flavor we normally get here in the States. So I should be able to see if I know how uh, this tastes like or does not taste like sour cream and onion Pringles. Now a little bit of interesting about uh, this yakisoba. This is the lid that came on top of it. You see it has like a self-straining part. It has this thing over the top. You peel that off. And before you do that, you peel this to the line. You pull out your two sachets. There's a powder and a liquid. Fill it up with hot water. Wait for three minutes. You peel this part off, revealing these slats. You drain all the water out. You peel the whole thing back. You put your powder and your liquid back in it. You stir it up. And there you have it. The yakisoba noodles that are supposed to taste like sour cream and onion Pringles. As they say here. Let's give it a taste. The, the liquid sachet, it was like a, when I poured it out, it smelled very much like onion. I think it was like a, an onion flavored oil. The powder was like a milk powder, and it had little bits of green onion in it. So I'm guessing that powder is where the sour cream flavor is going to come from. Let's give it a taste. You get a decent amount of noodles in this, by the way. There's definitely a lot of onion flavor in this. Tons of onion. They could increase the sour cream flavor of this, but uh, it's there. I can taste it. No, I don't hate this at all. Does it remind me of sour cream onion Pringles? I would say yeah. They've probably they've done a really good job taking the sour cream and onion chip flavor and putting it into a noodle. Before I finish that bowl, because I know I will, let's go for the Pringles. Now these Pringles are supposed to be flavored like, I had to write this down, Ace Cook's Ika Yakisoba Ija, which, stand, which uh, the English translation is Squid Fried Noodle Flavor. Now, I've never had Ace Cook's Squid Fried Noodle Flavor, but I've had other ramen that had squid flavor in it. Now, these uh, did come from Japan, so they're not all whole chips, but decent amount of are. The first thing I notice is the shape of these are slightly different than uh, the United States versions. 
I would say it's a little smaller altogether, and the curve is just a little bit different. But anyway, I digress. Let's give it a taste. Hmm. It's a light flavor. There's like a little sweetness. And a little tanginess. They're definitely tasty. Now, I've never had this flavor of yakisoba, so I'm not sure exactly how well the mash in flavor is. But I like it. The flavor on these is on the underside. Fairly good. Like I said, it's a light flavor. I think they could definitely increase the flavor of this a lot. Especially like you look at the yakisoba on the can, it looks like a dark colored yakisoba. The seasoning on here is very light. Like if you look at one of these chips, there's both sides of it. Just looks like a chip. Very light color of brown on the backside. Tastes good. I think it needs more. So overall, the Pringles Yakisoba, the Yakisoba's Pringles, I think they did a good job. I think it was a successful collaboration. I think I like the Pringles flavored Yakisoba more than I like the Yakisoba flavored Pringles in this case. Well, like I said, they're both good. Now I'm going to finish up these noodles. Give this video a thumbs up, Muck. Subscribe to the channel. Bye.